Okay, hey, uh, welcome uh, all you guys out there in Ustream TV land. Um, I was recently asked uh, by email how to set up a, a work group switch by someone who has purchased one but um, never set one up before. And well, it couldn't be simpler, okay? Uh, they've got these things uh, down now where you just plug them in, uh, hook up the cables, and you're done. This particular one is a uh, Linksys 10100 5 port work group switch. And, uh, well, hold on, get, uh, zoom in and get a good look at it. Um, there we go. Coming in there. Small little guy, blue and black. Pretty popular switch to get these days. See the front there? It's got the uh, LED indicators, the uh, power, and uh, link connectivity on. <clears throat> three of the ports and if we uh, turn this around get a good look at the back side you got your power adapter only goes in one receptacle there this blue wire RJ45 cable here um, cat5 cable RJ45 connector this goes to my uh, my data source you know like my wall jack um, and that's plugged into the uplink port because that wall jack goes to another switch. Now, directly next to it, the empty port, number five, um, cannot be used if I'm using the uplink port. These are connected internally inside the switch. You could use one or the other. If it's just going to be five devices, you use one through five. If you're uplinking to another switch, you use the uplink port, and this one is now dead. Your devices, this black cable is my desktop, this yellow one is my laptop. They just plug in one, two, three, four, um, and that's it. When you have a successful connection, the LEDs will illuminate and start blinking. If the uh, LEDs don't come on, well, you've got a problem. One side or the other side's either not on or, or not plugged in properly, or you have a bad cable or, or something of that nature so uh, that's it man um, couldn't be any simpler so good luck uh, setting that up and um, well we'll see you here next time zooming out here on uh, the tech and all things and we'll talk to you later bye